Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Kushner. It's been more than a month since two people were killed and 28 injured in a mass shooting at Baltimore's Brooklyn homes on July 2nd. And the city is still trying to figure out what went wrong and how to make sure a tragedy like this never happens again. Caroline Forback is live at police headquarters. Caroline, what are you learning tonight? Well, Kelsey, recently released audio of the 911 calls from that night revealed the terror that people endured while they waited for first responders to arrive. Baltimore City Council held a post-mortem hearing on July 13th to dissect why Brooklyn Day went so horribly wrong. City agencies faced scrutiny for not having a presence at the annual Brooklyn Day block party. Both the Housing Authority and police stated they were not aware of the massive party was taking place that evening until it was too late. It was also revealed at the hearing, the police did not adjust resources after learning it was taking place or after receiving 911 calls earlier in the night. Our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, obtained some of the frantic 911 calls Friday in response to a public records request. Some of the calls stretched up to 10 minutes long, with the callers reporting there was no sign of the police or ambulances. Now, please be advised what you're about to hear is a clip from a six minute 911 call. The audio may be disturbing. Man, was that gunshots? Man, was it? Man, was that gunshots? Where you located? I don't know. I don't even know what foot this is. Was that was somebody shooting at you? I don't know. Where they shooting at? Eight oh nine. I don't. I don't even know what foot this is. I don't even know what I just said. Man, try to try to look around, find where you are, so I can get you some help. And a second hearing on the Brooklyn Homes mass shooting will be held on September 13th. For now, reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback, WJZ.